Hi, welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 2. I'm Danny. In this video, I'm going to show you the walkthrough from KLCC Twin Tower to the Saloma Bridge, or what we used to call the Pintasan Saloma. Walkthrough begins in 9 seconds. I began my walk from the fountain area located beside the KLCC Twin Tower. It's around 6.30pm in the evening on weekdays and the crowd is a lot from both locals and tourists. This is a great place for people to stroll around, even for workers which can get a little space after a long day work. I will make my way into the Surya KLCC shopping mall which is located under the Petronas Twin Tower. This mall is open in 1998 and although it has been some time in the Kuala Lumpur city now, it still attracts tons of visitors here as the KLCC Twin Tower is the main landmark in Kuala Lumpur. It's a must to shop around here in this mall if one is visiting Kuala Lumpur. The walking from here to the Saloma Bridge takes around 10 minutes only on normal walking pace but that depends on how long one will stop for photos and the traffic condition on the road as it's super rush hour now. The reason I choose this time to walk to the Saloma Bridge is because the lights on the bridge will only start to lit around 7pm daily. While the sky is still bright, I can show the walk clearer to you who are watching this video too. walking towards the front entrance of the KLCC Twin Tower, where the Petronas Philharmonic Hall and also the entrance of KLCC Observation Deck is. Coming out of this glass door, we can see this beautiful rectangular fountain place is the front compound of the KLCC Twin Tower. I will make a round walk beside this fountain to show you how the situation of this place is and indeed, it's truly a beautiful place to take photos. I have a small map at the side of the video so you know the path I am walking now. Here, you can see many tourists from locals to foreigners are standing by to capture the best moment as it's sunset now, where the golden sunlight shines on the glass surface of the Twin Tower will create a very beautiful picture for photography. Tourists may hire some of the local vendors photographer to capture some photos for you, 
with the twin tower but these vendors are not allowed to enter to the compound of this fountain as it is illegal to conduct any business here so if you want to hire them first negotiate the price and you have to go out from this compound from the side which i will show you where they will take photos for you but let's move on from now first even monks will not let go this golden moment for photography here golden twin tower with golden mom what a good phrase I will make my way to the entrance at the front and continue to walk towards to the main road. You can see tour buses are all lined up here as this is normally a good time for tourists to get the photos before sending them for dinner as in their itinerary. I am now walking beside of Jalan Ampang towards the intersection traffic lights where I need to cross to the opposite road. This is what I've just mentioned where if you want to hire these vendors to photograph for you, you will need to come out here and they will take the photos for you from here. As this is a very traffic heavy road and it's super rush hour now, one have to be careful even standing at the road shoulder and always need to practice safety road protocol when crossing the road. I will need to cross to the road beside the Manara Public Bank. After crossing the road, just follow the path beside the Manara Public Bank and you will see a big LED screen with the Anzac Curry House restaurant under it. In front there is a road and this is Jalan Saloma. Follow along the road and until the end, you will reach to the entrance of Saloma Bridge. Saloma Bridge is derived from the Malaysian Singaporean singer and film actress who was the wife of Malaysian legend actor P. Ramlee that buried at the Jalan Ampang Muslim Cemetery at the side of the bridge here.
The walk from the intersection traffic lights to the entrance takes about two minutes. And once at the end of the road, one will be able to see the sign Pintasan Saloma like this one here. Behind there is a ramp for pedestrians to go on it and walk all the way up. Here we can see the Twin Tower behind where we started our walk and the Manara Public Bank. Upon reaching here, you can see the Saloma Bridge is on our left and under it is the LK Highway with the Klang River flowing along with it. Opposite is the Kampong Baru. It's still bright now, so one can barely see the light is on even though it's already on. If one wants to beat the crowd, this is the best time to come as there will be many people from big tour groups who arrive here after 8pm. There will be two platforms from each end for tourists to take photos here. The Saloma Bridge was opened in February 2020 and took around two years to construct. It is the longest single-span steel structure elevated walkway in Malaysia. The design of this bridge is inspired by Siri Junjung or Beta Leaves that is traditionally offered in ceremonies as a symbol of unity among the Malays. The main purpose for this bridge is to connect locals from two places, the Kampung Baru site to the KLCC site. Before this bridge was built, the walking from Kampung Baru to KLCC can take more than 30 minutes as one has to make a big detour to cross the river and highway in between. With this bridge open, the journey is shortened to less than 10 minutes now. The overall length of the Saloma Bridge is 370 meters and the main structure where I'm walking in this covered pedestrian walkway is 69 meters. The curved steel roof canopy consists of 4,100 diamond facade panels which equipped with LED lights on each of it where it will create different effects that make this bridge so attractive to locals and tourists. Same as at the KLCC Twin Tower, there are local vendors that will help visitors to take photos using their cameras with a sum of fee here. From this platform, one can take the lift that is provided here or walk the staircase at the side for four levels to the ground to get to Kampung Baru area.
Kampung Baru has many local street food stalls where one can enjoy the dinner here while looking at the beautiful bridge with the KLCC Twin Tower as background. If one is taking the LRT train, the train station that needs to disembark is the Kampung Baru train station. Upon coming out, just turn left at the entrance and go straight to head to the bridge. The Saloma Bridge is not open 24 hours. It starts to operate from 5 a.m. till 1 a.m. daily. I will wait a little longer for the sun to set so I can see a clearer lighting effects of this bridge here. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you will subscribe my channel if you like my video as it means a lot to me. I will see you again in my next video. Until then, bye!